Good morning, gardening friends. I'm Mary and welcome to Rocky Mountain Gardens. Today, I'm going to share with you six ideas on how to decorate your flower pots. And you can use these both indoors and outdoors. Um, I'm going to be using them with my indoor plant collection, uh, especially brightening up my house during these dreary winter days. And so I wanna just jump right in here and get us started on these projects. On my table here, I have a selection of pots that I am going to be changing the look of with paint and other embellishments. I even have sort of a basket-y looking container here. And then I have terracotta. And I have a pot that has like a grayish terracotta finish to it. Um, so I'm going to be redoing all of these. And what I'm going to be using with this project is um, white acrylic paint that we're going to be doing whitewash with. And then I have the Waverly White Chalk Paint that I will be using on some of the pots. And I have a light pink acrylic paint that has a satin finish. And this is going to really help me get that shabby chic look that I'm going for with these pots. Now, in addition, of course, I'll be using some brushes. These are called chip brushes. And I have my hot glue gun ready to go because I will be using it to attach some lovely lace embellishments on my pots. And then I also have Mod Podge. Uh, I have a satin Mod Podge and a matte version of Mod Podge for different effects. And then, this is going to be really gorgeous. I can't wait to share this with you where I'm going to be using napkins. And I got these at Tuesday morning for a very inexpensive price. And we're going to be Mod Podging these onto some of the pots that I showed you. This is going to be such a fun project. We will start by painting my first terracotta pot, this baby pink color. And you'll notice as I go around, I'm giving just one coat to the pot. And I will be sure to paint the inside rim of each of my containers so that when I plant it up, the uh, terracotta or the original color is not showing. And here I'm mixing up a batch of whitewash, just half white acrylic paint and half water which makes kind of a thin consistency, but it goes on quite easily, especially on a porous terracotta pot like this one. And you can see I had to mix up just a little bit more to be able to finish the pot. Now, I'm going to switch to chalk paint in order to paint this um, metal container. And this chalk paint is just fantastic. You can see I am putting on only one coat and it is covering perfectly. It really has amazing properties, chalk paint does. And then I switched to this basket and it was um, a little bit harder to do because of all the cracks and crevices in the weave of the basket. So I had to take my time and make sure that I got into all those little crevices to get everything covered well. But the chalk paint worked great, and again, I only had to do one coat. And I really like this container because it has a plastic liner built in on the inside, so it won't allow any water to seep out onto my furniture when I am using it indoors. You know, you always have to be careful for that problem. Uh, for, for house plants. And another uh, trick is to use this Mod Podge sealer, 
which I'm putting on the inside of my terracotta pots so that when um, I plant them up and I'm watering them, the water or the moisture doesn't ruin the outside of the pot that I've done. Now let's get started on decorating our pots. And I have this nautical rope from the Dollar Tree, which of course was just a dollar, and I'm going to be utilizing that. Um, I think I'm going to start with this gray pot, and I'm going to go ahead, and we're gonna have a combination of items used with this. And I will move forward and just be using different techniques and different uh, materials for each pot. So we have lots of choices on how to decorate pots today. Let's get started. For my first decorating idea, I am taking my hot glue gun and gluing a, under the rim of this gray pot and adding this cute heart lace. And you can see here that I cut my lace a little bit too short, but I'm gonna solve that problem here in a minute. And I put the uh, nautical rope right under the rim and over the lace to give a different look and then added this little medallion to cover the spot where I had cut the lace too short. And then I am tying a shoe tying bow, a simple bow with this thin lace. And I'm going to hot glue it right in there over the medallion to give it a little bit brighter look. And getting that bow just right, here we are. Next, we're moving on to idea number two and decorating with a frillier lace under the rim of this basket. And next, you'll see that I'm adding this nautical rope again, uh, and I'm having it go all the way around on top of that lace, making sure it comes together perfectly there at the seam. And there you are, all done. Now for this first terracotta pot, I am simply adding this very uh, elegant lace here along the rim. And because it was white on white and didn't show or won't show up quite as well, what I'm doing is adding this pink gingham ribbon on top of it to really draw the eye to that lovely lace that you can see here. And then I'm going to go ahead and finish it up and then tie a um, nice shoe tying bow again, a very simple one with curly ends. And I'm gonna go ahead and hot glue that on the seam of where the lace and the ribbons came together. Looks so cute. On this next container, you can see I'm using a pom-pom type of ribbon pink colored so it'll really pop on that container and then I'm taking a thinner twine and just randomly uh, wrapping it around above the pom-pom ribbon and the rim of the top part of the metal pot and I'm just winding it around uh, to give it sort of like I said a random look and I'm going to go ahead and attach it with hot glue and then I'm making a double bow with the twine and attaching that with hot glue onto the container as well. Now, here's my biggest project that was a little scary for me because I have not done a lot of decoupaging before. So I have this napkin with these beautiful hydrangeas on it and I wanted to decoupage a couple of areas of this pot since it is so large and I just randomly cut out some shapes and tested it and I, I did some tearing to give it an uneven look which is what I was going for very rustic and as you can see I'm sort of trying them out on the pot and now I'm taking my Mod Podge and I'm using a satin 
variety of Mod Podge. I didn't want it to be high gloss, super shiny. So, you know, with this technique, you put on the Mod Podge and then you lay on your napkin and then you very have to be very careful and gentle with the napkin because it's quite thin and lay on as I'm doing here the napkin and then you very carefully press it down and then paint the Mod Podge over and make sure you cover it thoroughly and you'll see I'm painting the entire pot not just the napkin areas I wanted to have the same finish all the way around so I covered every area of the pink on the pot with Mod Podge thoroughly. And then my next step was to take this same really elegant lace and attach it along the rim of the pot to just add a lot of shabby chic elegance to this design. Really, really pretty. Lastly is this gray pot that I kind of thought of as a fail. Um, I Mod Podged over it with another napkin, but as you can see, it did not turn out as well because the color of the pot was so dark. So to brighten it up a little bit, I added this uh, lace with a pearl center on it to bring out some white on it and just make it look a little brighter. And then I took this pretty satin pink ribbon, made a shoe tying bow, and I attached it with hot glue. And I think that really brightened up the colors on it. And you can see here a little gray pot with an ivy, a type of ivy in it. And then over here, I have a Calathea in my beautiful shabby chic terracotta pot. Here's another ivy in this gray pot. And then here we have a wandering Jew in the uh, pot that was made of metal that you saw me decorate. Here is a Schafflera, which is placed inside this lovely decoupage pot. I just really am happy about that pink color. And then here we have that basket that you saw me paint and decorate. And I have a variety of philodendron in that one. It's a little tiny one, but just perfect for this size of a pot. Isn't it amazing how you can take plain containers, ones that have been maybe lying around your house for a while, or thrift shop finds and bargain prices, sale prices, and turn them into something quite special. Let's remember that it is so nice to bring a little bit of nature indoors in the cold winter time. And look at how pretty things can be. And also, I think I mentioned perhaps, but don't forget to search your craft room, uh, your stash of crafting items that maybe you've collected over the years to use to create something pretty like this because, you know, I didn't buy anything for this, this project. I simply used what I had on hand and changed something normal, kind of commonplace into something very special. And uh, by the way, next week, look for my video, which is going to give you some ideas for creating a plant room in your own home and something you can really sit in that area and take in all that natural beauty right here in your own home. Okay guys, so thank you for stopping by and I wish you all a very happy week. See you next time.